Hey, math is deeply fascinating, right? Have you, for instance, looked at that beehive? Every cell of it is like a hexagon. Have you ever wondered why hexagon? I mean, I know you know it's a hexagon. Why not circles or why not pentagons or any other shape? Well, let's find out. Ah, now at first, circles seem like a good idea. But look again, they leave gaps, which means the circle will give bees an incomplete wall. And bees would have to work extra to fill in all the gaps, right? <laughs> it's not that the colony of bees has a school where they learn geometry. Bees are just using wax, the building material, and creating these storage spaces, which means they want to build a structure without leaving any gaps. And there's actually a name, a special name for this kind of a construction. Tessellation or tiling. Now when shapes are arranged in a repeating manner without leaving gaps on a, say, a plane, they make a tessellation. In other words, we can say that circles actually don't tessellate. Ah, okay, so to see what options we have, let's check for tessellation with simple regular geometric shapes, regular polygons. What is the smallest regular polygon that you can think of? Check this out. This is the smallest polygon that's possible. This is an equilateral triangle. Let's try building a shape out of this. It looks like I can keep going on and fill up all space around me and there are no gaps. This is a regular four-sided polygon. They aren't that different from triangles, are they? Think about this. These will also tessellate because squares are made of two triangles. Ah, let's see. No gaps and I can keep going on and on forever. What's the next one? Pentagon, five-sided polygons. Something seems off here, right? I'm, mm, I'm not able to fill it up without leaving gaps. Huh, after three of these come together, look at this shape. I don't have place for the fourth one to come and fit in. And then we have, thanks to the bees, the hexagon. A six-sided polygon. And we know that hexagons will tessellate. Let's stop here. So far, we've seen that these regular polygons, the triangle, the square, and the hexagon can tessellate. But the pentagons could not tessellate. What is so special about these polygons? Let's take the help of math out here. Each of these shapes, the triangle, the square, and the hexagon are regular polygons. Let's check out their angles made by sides on the inside or the internal angles. Let's begin with the triangle. We know this, right? That the sum of the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Since it's a regular polygon with three angles, it means that each of these angles is one third of 180 degrees, which is 60 degrees. Now in the case of four-sided figure, like our square. Ah, check this out. This square can actually be thought of as two triangles. Now the sum of interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. In a square is twice of 180 degrees, which is 360 degrees. Four sides, four angles, 360 degrees, and one fourth of that is 90 degrees. Now in the case of the five-sided pentagon. Hmm, interesting. How can this be made of? One triangle, second and third, three triangles. That means the sum of internal angles of a pentagon would be three times 180, which is 540 degrees. Again, all five angles being equal, each of them has a measure of 540 divided by five, which is 108 degrees. Now, of course, coming to the hexagon, Think about this, one, two, three, four triangles, six sides, four triangles means the sum of interior angles is four times of 180 degrees. Four times of 180 degrees is 720 degrees. Divided by six gives us each of the regular interior angles to be 
120 degrees. Great! These three tessellate. Now that we know their interior angles, can we sort of figure out a pattern out here using the geometry of math? Well, let's focus on any one common point. Now think about the triangle. That common point, it looks like the tessellators have a special angle that allows them to meet peacefully at that common point between these shapes. Ah, so far a square, so far a hexagon. Each of these has a full circle around each common point. That is, 360 degrees of angle is covered up. Whereas one pentagon at that point would provide 108 degrees. The other pentagon would now make it 216 degrees covered. But now it doesn't allow for multiple pentagons to meet at that common point without leaving a gap or maybe an overlap. Notice that 108 degrees does not divide 360 degrees perfectly. There we have it! A pattern! For a regular polygon to tessellate, the internal angle of that regular polygon should be able to divide 360 or be a factor of 360 perfectly. Or else, the neighbours at a point would be fighting for space. <laughs> and as it turns out, there's no other regular polygon with an internal angle of, let's say, 36 degrees or 45 degrees or 40 degrees or 72 degrees. None of these have perfect regular polygons with internal angles as perfect divisors of 360. Ha! Ah, the triangle, the square and the hexagon are the only regular polygons that fulfill the perfect divisor of 360 criterion. So they are the only polygons that can tessellate. You see, the bees have to work really hard to create the wax, the building material for the walls of their home. So they need a shape that gives them the most utilization. Now, it's not that they learnt math. It's just that they're pushing around to create that space and it so happens to be the largest shape that's possible. Among these, the triangle, the squares and the hexagons, it is only the hexagon which fits both these criteria. That is, it tessellates as well as is the largest shape which needs the least number of walls to cover a given area for this tessellation to happen. In fact, this doesn't happen only in honeycombs. Have you seen this? There are stable hexagonal packing all around in nature. So now, you know why honeycombs are hexagonal. Can you find more examples of hexagons from nature? Let me know in the comments and I will see you. Until next time. And you know what to do for more conceptual clarity and engaging learning. Download Baiju's The Learning app and subscribe and follow to the Baiju's channel.